Hi, y'all. Welcome to Paradise. I've been watching some YouTube videos about building batteries for solar energy storage systems. And Andy at the Off Grid Garage, some of Will's videos, and David Paws, and some of those other folks. And there's a lot to learn. It's a big subject, and if you get it wrong, it can be really bad. <clears throat> and I considered doing videos about it from the beginning, and I really just didn't want to invest the time into editing. And, um, and I'm really learning as I go anyway. And, but there are lots of times when I wish I was able to share what I'm learning with others. Um, I enjoy teaching and so I still wasn't going to do it. And then my wife, who's uh, probably my biggest cheerleader, decided that it was probably something I should do. I'm here with Rona, our uh, pandemic puppy. We, uh, We went to uh, Cozumel to scuba dive last year, and I was going to be there for nine months, right about the time they declared the pandemic, which I expected to happen, but I didn't expect the country to go crazy. And when they, when my friends all told me, don't come home, it's crazy here, there's no toilet paper at the grocery store, people are nuts, I thought, well, maybe I should be at home if people are nuts and so I came on home and I did a nice project for a friend of mine at the time she was a client now she's a friend of mine and uh, we did a nice project for her and stayed kind of out here in the country we live out here on a beautiful piece of property in the central Texas hill country and I got that project finished last year, and then I decided to go ahead and take that trip to Cozumel to scuba dive that I was denied earlier in 2020. So at Christmas, I went to Cozumel, and I spent six months there scuba diving from the shore and exploring some on some four-hour-long scuba dives. And my day job is building big, intricate, well designed and thought out houses and I'm taking a break from that right now so I haven't worked at that since December and uh, I have a couple of projects that are coming up but when I came home from Cozumel a couple of months ago I decided to address something I've been worried about for some time I don't have any confidence in our electrical grid. No, I don't have. I have some confidence. I have about 50% confidence that the electrical grid will be functioning on a rather reliable basis for the rest of my life. And I've got about a 50% feeling that the electrical grid for any number of reasons is going to fail for a long period of time. Um, I'm not the kind of guy who stores a lot of food, and although we do create our own food out here, we're grass farmers and we raise cattle, and we've got a big deep freeze and. We've got our own water supply, our own electrical supply. and But the problem with all of that is you don't have electrical, even if you have a big solar array, unless you have a big battery system. And last year, I decided I was going to look into, again, look into a big generator. And I just 
you get into like a $15,000 deal with a thousand gallon propane tank that will last you for 10 days, 14 days, depends on how much you want to spend time without electricity. Maybe you could stretch it out, but in a real grid down situation, you may not have enough. Um, and in a real grid down situation, you're not going to call the propane guy and have him deliver a tank. So it felt to me like batteries needed to be the answer. And that's why I didn't buy a generator before February when Texas had our little ice apocalypse. And when we had our ice apocalypse, I was in Cozumel and my amazing wife was here. And she did an awful lot to save us. We were without power. We did rolling blackouts for three days. And then we had two and a half days with no power at all because the second or third ice storm took down the trees that were over the power lines and they, uh, they wiped out our power for 56 hours, I believe it was. And I have a tankless water heater on the outside of my house, which does not freeze as long as there's electricity. My wife took my Toyota Prius and hooked up the little 400 watt inverter that we, that I had for a seven month trip I took living out of my car in 2013, exploring North America. And she took that inverter and she put it in the Prius and she ran an extension cord up to the attic and supplied power to the water heater, the security system, charging her iPad and iPhone. And, and she, uh, she kept the water heater from freezing in, in that way. But we have water systems that we're going to freeze. And the last night it got back down to 15 F and we were going to lose all the water systems. But I have a neighbor who called me up at 1030 at night in Cozumel and said, I heard you've got a problem over there tonight. And we've got a generator that we don't run at night. I can bring it over there and hook it up. And he came over and at midnight, he was hooking up the generator and he saved my koi pond and my rainwater pump house and some other piping that needed just a little bit of power to keep water moving so it didn't freeze things up. And he saved us. And when I came home, I decided that we needed a few systems to keep that from happening again. So that's what this is all about. I have built a few things. Uh, along the way, I bought a, a small generator with some gasoline, just, you know, enough gasoline to get me through five or 10 days, which I'll have to swap out, but that's one layer of our protection. And I have built a solar generator that can charge off grid and supply power to the freezer and the deep freeze and, and save all of our food sources and, and all of our electronics. And then the big deal is to create enough storage to be able to live off grid. And uh, I don't really see any reason when we go that far to not just go ahead and live off grid. I, I'm not really too confident in the way our grid is managed here in Texas. And I don't really like, we have a, we have an electric cooperative that is working on policies designed to punish people with solar power. Uh, I don't have any idea why that would be, but they are a little, um, they are a little bit behind the times in the current board membership. 
Uh, it reminds me of when I first moved out here 30 years ago and I built the house and I was putting air conditioning in and I called the co-op to see if there were any rebate programs for efficient air conditioning. And they transferred me to the environmental services director and I asked him my question and he said, sir, we're in the business of selling electricity. Why would we do anything that would encourage you to use less of it? Hi, Rona. So, I knew what I was dealing with then, and uh, sure enough, it's changed some, but they still are there. So, so come along. I'm out in my shop right now, um, building boxes to contain 12 14 and a half kW energy storage systems six for this property and six for my friend whose house I worked on last year who wants the same thing at her house and so I'm uh, I'm working on that and uh, that'll be enough for this video, a little introduction. Welcome.